Has addiction taken a toll on your family? Are you feeling helpless as you watch a loved one struggle? Does it seem like there is nobody to talk to? You don't have to do it alone. Our doors are always open. Family Night at the McShin Foundation. So, good evening, and um, I'm, I'm truly committed. This is amazing for me, my Black History Month. You're talking about the struggle. No, I didn't believe in 19... 1998, when I, um, 1998, when I came to the sheriff's office as a, a, a deputy, I, I actually came to the sheriff's office because um, I had three young kids. So I was working at the post office. And at the post office, I only had Mondays off. And I worked at nights. So I was like, I need a job where at least I can have weekends. My kids never saw me. It's like, you're making money, but so what? Your kids don't care about you got money to spend on them. Somebody else got to spend it on them. So I was like, I need a job where I can have weekends off. So working in the church, one of the guys was like, well, you know, you'd be a good deputy. So I said, okay, well, what, what kind of days they got off? And he was like, they have every other weekend off. So I was like, bet, sign me up. So I went, and sure enough, you know, you walk into a place and you walk on a job and instantaneously, you know, like, I'm here. This is the perfect fit. Because from day one, I knew that like, I had the ability to like, really help people. Working down at Jail East, direct supervision, inside the pod, 12 hours every day, talking with people, listening, and actually could pick up the phone and do things and connect people and listen and actually make a difference and help. So been there ever since, rose through the ranks, never thought in, a, in my wildest dreams that I'd be sheriff, but here I am, right? So. Um, <laughs> Amazing, thank you. Um, uh, addiction is, is near and dear to my heart because in my family, we've not only struggled with family members that have, um, are dealing with and battling addiction, um, have lost the struggle with addiction, but also mental health too. So you imagine not only struggling with um, substance abuse, but add mental health illness on top of that. So that's a double whammy. You know, you, you think about you as a child, an uncle that you love stumping the top of a car and you don't understand why, you know, he's in an episode, he's in a crisis, but he's also high off of something you don't know what it is. So those two things and dealing with that and then being in a job where I can actually make a difference and help. So it's amazing. Um, John, yes, he is an acquired taste. I know that too, right? <laughs> So we have this wonderful relationship that we're getting ready to go into 2020. This would be my first year in office. So I had a small goal. I said I would like to divert 100 people. So I would like to take 100 people that come into the jail um, that are there because basically because they have broke the law, struggling with their addiction, and actually divert them and get them back into the community to deal with their um, recovery, actually work on recovery in the community. So he was like, oh, that's nothing. Oh, we, can, we can far exceed that. I'm going to make you famous. So I'm like, OK, but listen to this. What we're going to do is you're going to say it to me, and then I'm going to say it to everybody else. So you're not going to be able to talk. You're going to talk to me, and then I'm going to talk to everybody else. And that's how we're going to do it. So that's how me and John are going to make history, and we're going to do big things at the jail. But it's going to take. It's going to take me and John and you. So I'm looking for people that are in the community, that are working, peers, to be able to come in and meet people where they are, sometimes not knowing that they need help. Like, like you say, I, I have some people that are in the community now that when people approached them and got them into recovery, it was just they walked with it because they just wanted to get out of jail. It was like. Bullshit, I'll go with it. This, I mean, I just need more, I want to get out. But something clicked, okay? So that's where I need your help. Because right now, we have the county in the prime spot. Everybody's saying, yes, this is a problem. Yes, we know locking people up is not the answer. We cannot continue to do the same thing that we've done and get different results. We're not going to do it. Locking people up is not going to help the problem. It doesn't fix people, okay? I can lock you up. I can 
feel like you're up for 50 years, and when you come out, guess what you're still going to be? An addict that did 50 years. That's it. It's, it's no difference. So we're going to come at this thing differently. So b between John and, and the good folks working here at McShane, we're going to pull in everybody in the community working in recovery. Um, Henrico Mental Health, we're pulling all the resources in and we're going to work together to be able to divert people away from the criminal justice system and into the community to work on recovery, all right? So that, that is our goal, but I need you, all right? So I need you to walk the walk and be that hope and show the people that are, you know, down and don't have any hope inside the jail that you can do it. It's, it's going to be a struggle, you know, I, we've started now and what we're calling it right now is like um, bed to bed releases. So I want to take you from my bed in the jail and put you in the bed in the community. Simple, quick, right? Genius. But hopefully it's going to work, right? So we want to start bed to bed releases. So we've had a few. We're working. Um, I think we're going to get there. John has some people that are going to start um, very soon. We're going to get them in, train them, and we're going to start working. We got some other pieces we need to connect because we're talking about the total person. I don't just want to put somebody in recovery in the community. I want to also look and see, now, what do you want to do? Because working on recovery, you also got to look and see, you, you got to be able to make a living, right? Right. All right, because you need a job. And, and you need to be able to work on, on you because we all have issues. That's me too. Because even being a sheriff and like I told you, dealing with issues with my family, um, I still got some wounds that haven't healed. All right, so working on those things too. So working on a total person, looking at getting some kind of health care, working on your health, you know, working on your dental, working on all of those things. So pulling on in those things and those pieces in the community to work on a total person, all right? So that's, that's what I would like to do as sheriff in the first year. A big bite, but I think working together, we can do it, you know, or when we die trying, right? Yeah. So um, that, that's what I wanna do. That's why I'm here and I'm like in between. So I ran here and I gotta run a couple of other places because I'm trying to get everybody I can on board, working together, because this is our mission. So you'll see me a lot. You'll see me here. Hopefully, some of you will come on board and work with me in the jail, because I'm going to need everybody. You know, we all got to believe in this, and we all got to work together. Got the judges on board. You know, anytime you can get the judges saying, all right, we'll give it a try. And it's not going to be perfect. And we're going to have some people that have hiccups and they make mistakes. But we're all human. We will. But we just got to make sure that we throw our arms around each other and we pick each other up when we fall and get each other back on the right track. And, and that's what we're saying. We want to stay close enough to where we know when somebody falls down, where we can pick them back up and get them in the fold. All right? Because th th that's built in there, too. Because we know, you know, it's like the little engine that's co that could. You, they didn't get up this hill the first time. You know what I'm saying? He kept chugging and chugging. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So we got to be that little engine that could until we get up that hill. And together we will. All right? So sound good? Yeah. Sound like a mission? All right. <laughs>